Welcome back everyone. The iPhone 13 Pro just came out, so let's go and compare it against the iPhone 11 Pro and see which one you should pick up if you want. I mean, if you have the 11 Pro, should you upgrade? All this good stuff. Now I'm going to tell you if you want to pick up either one of these things, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and help support the channel at the same time. I'm going to preface this whole video by saying, of course, if you have all the money in the world, get the iPhone 13 Pro. It is the better value. I mean, it's not the better value, but it's the better phone. But you know, the 11 Pro is a very good priced phone now because it's gone down in value quite a bit. Now, side by side, you are getting a much bigger phone on the 13 Pro. The iPhone 11 Pro had a 5.8 inch panel. The iPhone 13 Pro has a 6.1 inch panel. And the bigger thing besides just, you know, the smaller notch and the flat sides and all that, you actually have a 120 hertz refresh rate on the iPhone 13 Pro. And it is a noticeable change for sure. It looks much better. It performs better. It just makes a smoother experience. But iOS is still extremely smooth too. And, you know, I don't think you're going to notice a crazy big difference in my opinion. You know, I think it's honestly, I'm kind of used to it by now. Now, thickness and thinness between the two, like I mentioned, the iPhone 13 Pro, I think is a little bit thicker, but they both kind of feel the same. The curved architecture on the 11 Pro, it was a pretty thick phone at the time. The 13 Pro still is a thick phone for sure, but it has a bigger battery, which is good. On the back, frosted glass backs on both, which look beautiful. And I want you to notice, look at that camera sensor. These camera sensors on the iPhone 13 Pro are crazy big, which means you're going to be getting a bigger camera and just better camera on the 13 Pro, which look really good. A LiDAR sensor on the 13 Pro, no LiDAR sensor here, and nothing else really except the power button on the side. And that's really it on the outside. You know, they share a lot of similarity. I don't think there's, you know, a humongous change in terms of body yet. I think once Apple removes the notch, then we can start talking, but both of these still have notches and it is a much taller notch on the iPhone 13 Pro as well. Now, in terms of future ability and how long these phones are going to last, obviously the iPhone 13 Pro is going to outlast the iPhone 11 Pro by maybe a year or two, who knows? I don't think these are going to last the same amount of time, so do keep that in mind. But with the iPhone 11 Pro, it's going to be lasting for still for a couple of years. You know, it's not, it's not going out of date anytime soon. So that's a big thing to keep in mind. When it comes down to both of these, the 13 Pro is the longer lasting one, but the iPhone 11 Pro is still here to stay. And I still love this phone a lot. I made a lot of videos on this phone as well. So that covers it up in terms of the future ability of it. Now let's go and put these phones to the test. Let's do a quick little speed comparison between them. I'll do a full one maybe like next week. Now the iPhone 11 Pro has that Apple A13 Bionic chip inside of it with four gigabytes of RAM, but the iPhone 13 Pro has that Apple A15 Bionic chip inside of it with six gigabytes of RAM. So let's go and see how both of these things compare up. There we go. All the apps are cleared out in the background as you guys can see. The iPhone 11 Pro is on the right. The 13 Pro is on the left. Let's go and start loading up some random apps. Let's kind of start off with the App Store. Three, two, one. And surprisingly, the iPhone 11 Pro actually opened that one up faster. I've always found this one to be hit or miss. You never know which one is going to be the faster one. Let's go and click into this one and they kind of, kind of load up the same. Animation wise, now you're not going to see this in, you know, over the camera, but the iPhone 13 Pro is smoother because of that ProMotion. I don't think it's worth just upgrading because of that, but it is a faster phone, which is cool. Now, as always, I have a bunch of these third party apps that we can go and start getting into. Now we have Netflix. Let's open up that one. Three, two, one. And both of them were kind of the same. Maybe the 13 Pro is a little bit faster. Let's get into Quizlet. Three, two, one. And again, the 13 Pro is a faster one. Like I mentioned, 13 Pro here, 11 Pro here. Thank you, three, two, one. And the 13 Pro is the faster one, followed by the iPhone 11 Pro. Getting to some gameplay, let's see if there's going to be a difference. And most of the time there's not with basic games like this, but you guys can kind of tell for yourself. Let's get into Snake versus Blocks, three, two, one. And maybe I clicked it on the 13 Pro just like a split second faster. And I don't think it would have, you know, made that big of a difference, but I still think the 13 Pro may have been a little bit faster there. And again, gameplay-wise, I don't think we're going to see that big of a game difference between these two. Hopping out of this one, let's get into Temple Run 2, 3, 2, 1. And it does look like we were on two different versions of the Temple Run. I mean, this may have been the second one. They kind of changed this game recently. So let's go and load up Temple Run 2 here, and let's go and load up Temple Run 1 here so we can store these in the background for the app, you know, the RAM management portion. Now let's go ahead and kind of go back and start loading up these apps again. And I definitely do think even from this basic little app, you know, comparison that we just did, 
I'm pretty sure the iPhone 13 Pro is the faster one, but just like I saw yesterday and just like I see now, it's not that big of a difference. You know, I think both of these are great, but I do think the 13 Pro isn't that crazy big of a difference in terms of, you know, speed and all that stuff from the iPhone 11 Pro series. You know, I think it's a big difference. I think it's a big difference probably in other areas, which we'll test in the future comparison. But I think for day to day tasks, especially for my type of task, you know, making sure apps load up and stuff, you're getting a very similar experience between the two. So that covers it up there. Now let's go and do a, you know, quick camera comparison as well. Again, the full one will come probably next week. Like I mentioned previously, triple camera setups on both. You have ultra wide, wide and telephoto lenses on all of these. But like I mentioned, look at the big size difference between the two. That is a massive size camera difference. And there's no LiDAR sensor on the iPhone 11 Pro either. Now you have the same 4K 60 on both. So you have 4K 60 on the front and the back on both of these. I'm sure the camera on 13 Pro is going to be better, but you do have the same exact video resolutions you can film in. Now, in terms of the actual camera features and everything, they kind of have almost the same type of setup. There really isn't a crazy big difference. You can see at the bottom, we do have photo mode, portrait mode, panoramic mode, but there is this new cinematic mode on the iPhone 13 Pro. You don't have it on any of the other iPhones besides the iPhone 13 series. So the 11 Pro is never going to have it. And it essentially just kind of blurs out, you know, anything. It's kind of like portrait mode for your video, which I think is cool, but I don't know if it's a crazy big deal for a lot of people, but it is a really cool thing you know i'm glad apple put it in but i was hoping to see bigger changes you know maybe a newer camera ui it's been the same exact thing forever and uh, you know maybe we'll have to wait a couple more iphones for that to happen now like i mentioned with the iphone 11 pro series this was my main phone at the time you know two years ago and this was a very solid phone but i want you to kind of keep in mind the glitchiness when you kind of zoom out and zoom in is definitely not the smoothest experience i noticed with the 13 series it's kind of cleaned that up a little bit but this sensor is still very good still it's the same 4k 60 like i mentioned and it's a very solid sensor without a doubt. And with the iPhone 13 Pro, like I mentioned, look at how much smoother, at least in my opinion, it is when you zoom in and zoom out of a subject. I think that's probably the bigger change. Other than that, I didn't really see a crazy big difference. Like I mentioned, I'll go ahead and test it further probably in the next like week or so. But I don't know. I haven't really noticed too many crazy big differences with the 13 series. Like I mentioned, Apple has spent a lot of time and a lot of money perfecting this camera. And I think they've kind of put themselves in a corner because the 11 series, the 12 series, they had such good cameras. And it's hard to kind of keep updating that. I think if they made you know bigger camera UI changes, that'd be a bigger deal. But I think the iPhone 13 Pro's camera is still amazing. Is it a humongous difference from the 11 Pro? Not in my opinion, but we'll test it further. But from first glance, I don't really see that big of a difference between the two. And that essentially brings us to the end of the video. And let's kind of answer the question. I mean, which one is the better deal here? Should you spend your money on the 13 Pro? Should you keep your iPhone 11 Pro? This is what I'll tell you. You know, I think when it comes down to both of these, they're both tremendous phones. I think definitely if you have all the money, like I mentioned before, the 13 Pro is the better phone without a doubt. It is, has just more capability. It has the 120 hertz refresh rate, bigger size battery. Actually, they're about the same, to be honest, which, you know, Apple has said this one has better battery life, which will test further. It's faster. It's better performing. It's just the best phone that you can buy in terms of Apple, better cameras and everything. But if the iPhone 13 Pro was a 10 out of 10, the iPhone 11 Pro, in my opinion, is easily like a 9 out of 10 still. There's been very little difference. You know, I think once Apple removes the notch and they bring, you know, bigger UI changes, it's the same exact phone, you know. Of course, there's a better camera, but I don't know. I don't really see that big of a difference. You know, if Apple put in, you know, things like reverse wireless charging, the 120 hertz refresh rate is the thing that kind of makes me want to tell people to upgrade. And, you know, by all means do. But... The more I use it, the more I'm kind of used to it because all the other phones have had it for so long. And at first I was happy about it. And now it's kind of become like, okay, like all the other phones have it too. And for the price tag, you can pick up an iPhone 11 Pro for much cheaper than a 13 Pro. And this phone is very similar to this phone. Like there's not that big of a difference between the two. So that's pretty much how I would put it. I think both these phones are great. Get the 13 Pro, it's definitely the better one. But the iPhone 11 Pro isn't too far behind either. So that pretty much covers it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.